Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Super Bowl 36. The Rams won the toss, so they will receive. Adam Venateri will kick off for the Patriots, and Yo Murphy is back deep for the Rams. You ready, John? Heck yes. <laughs> I think we've been here for about eight hours, haven't we? We've At had, least. We've had breakfast, lunch, and we've started dinner here, but I think it's going to all be worth it shortly. Next comes the shave and then dinner. Benetary's kick is short, but it will be handled by Yo Murphy. And Murphy breaks right out of the pack. Caught from behind and wrestled to the ground at just short of the 40. Here's the Ram offense, led by the man who Ron Pitts just talked to, Kurt Warner, two-time NFL Most Valuable Player. In front of him, a good offensive line, Pace, Newton, McCollum, Timmerman, and Rod Jones at right tackle. Those will touch the ball, Hope, Falk, Hodgins, Ernie Conwell, the tight end, and Isaac Bruce. And let's watch him go to work. The Rams first of 10 at their own 39-yard line. And they start off empty backfield. I think they're going to go big early. Warner. Ball, I believe, might have bounced loose. I'm not sure. The New England defense. Front four. Pleasant, Seymour, Mitchell, and Hamilton. The three linebackers, Bruski in the middle, Pfeiffer and Vrabel outside. And the secondary, and it's a good one. Otis Smith and Ty Law are the corners. To Bucky Jones and Lawyer Malloy, the two safeties. Mike Martz studying that pass was incomplete. Yeah, ben, he's thinking about what he's going to do on the next play. Always thinking of play ahead. Warner. Torrey Holt leaping catch. You know, one of the things that Bill Belichick was telling us yesterday, he said, the thing I worry about the most is the first five minutes. And you look what the Rams do in the first five minutes. On offense, six touchdowns, two field goals. Look at this. Defense, seven takeaways and an interception for a return. So they they, they, they come out, and now they start this game. Yo Murphy gets them a good kickoff return. And then on second down, we just see Kurt Warner makes that completion. And... The Rams always start off very quickly. Quick count, it's Marshall Falk. And he is wrapped up after a yard by Teddy Bruschi, the middle linebacker. Everyone's surprised by the Rams' speed all the time. In yep. fact, Bill Belichick, what, what he did with his, his defense is he had his scout team start three yards offside. So they started three yards up the field before the ball was snapped just to get the feeling of how quickly these receivers get up the field on you. He had the wide receivers do that. Everybody else was normal to show those corners how quickly they got on them. Second and eight. Falk only got two. That's Oz Hakeem that goes in motion and Warner looks in that direction. There's nothing there. Pulls it down. Is chased. Is chased. Finally lofts it to Hope. Incomplete. Good effort by Warner. Hope couldn't hang on. And that guy was chasing was Willie McGinnis, who is the, the best of the Patriot pass rushers. He'll line up all over the place. He'll line up at, at either end. That time he came from the outside. He was the first guy that got through there. Made Kurt Warner bring the ball down, and he was the guy chasing him all the way. There is a flag on the play. Usually when a quarterback has that much time and he's running around like that, someone, an offensive lineman, usually gets downfield. Bernie Kukar. Pass interference, number 84 offense. 10-yard penalty, still second down. Uh, Bernie Conwell. Bernie Conwell's a tight end right here. And you'll see when Kurt Warner starts to run around, now Ernie Conwell goes to block for a second, and he comes he back to be a receiver. He thinks he's running. That's that's always a tough thing. Now yeah. watch I watch the hit right there at the end of the play. That's that's one of the things that the Patriots feel on defense. They have to be very aggressive and really hit these Ram receivers. Second and long going deep. Incomplete. Torrey Holt the target. Good coverage by Ty Law. And that's the thing that Torrey Holt runs so well. They call that a high seven. In other words, it's a 
It's a corner pattern, but but you don't take it to, to the to the corner. You don't take it flat. I watch Tory Holt. As you start here, then you start getting it deeper and deeper and deeper. So you start to the corner, and then you fade up the field. So part of it is a corner route, and then when you get to the end of the corner, instead of staying on that angle, you start the angle up the field. And it usually leads to seven. Third and 18. Antoine Harris is in now. This is seven defensive backs for the Patriots. Screen pass. Fall. They pursue and pursue very well, the Patriots do. Anthony Pleasant was the first one there. And the guy that makes the, the tackle, too, is Antoine Harris. You're going to see that's, that's his job. When they bring him in, he's going to have Marshall Falk. Falk. Roman Pfeiffer's there, number 23, right there is Antoine Harris. That's, that's one of the things that they want to do with Marshall Falk. If he comes out of the backfield, they want some speed on him. And Antoine Harris is a corner, and he can give him corner speed. I think we're going to see a lot of six and seven defensive backs by the Patriots. Baker back to punt. And Troy Brown, ever dangerous, back for the Patriots. Didn't do much with this one. And it bounces out of bounds inside the five. Pat Summerall, John Madden back at Super Bowl 36 in New Orleans. This is where your offensive line has to establish something right here that you can control the line of scrimmage because you have to run it out of here. First and ten at about the three and Brady drops in the end zone and throws complete. This is Troy Brown. And Brown gets some breathing room in a hurry. Let's look at Tom Brady. And the rest of that offensive unit for New England. Brady is 13 and three as a starter two and zero in postseason. And that's the offensive line like. Compton, Woody, Andruzzi, and Robinson Randall. And those will handle the ball. Troy Brown just did. David Patton, the other wide receiver. The first play was empty, uh, empty backfield. That's Antoine Smith outside the 30. Here's the Ram defense. The front four Grant Wistrom, Scanita, Brian Young. And Chidi Ahanatu, the linebackers, London Fletcher in the middle, Polly and Davis flank him. And the secondary, McLean Herring, Archuleta, and Aeneas Williams, who's had a tremendous playoff series. And all those guys can run. I mean, that's yep. one thing about the Rams. They're not big, they're not real strong on defense, but they're very, very fast. Brady would seem to be changing the play, wouldn't he? He is. He drops the throw and throw and the pass is complete outside the 40 to Troy Brown. Boy, there's an amazing story in it. Well, watch Troy Brown here. I mean, I mean, he's so good at feeling these zones. I mean, he just runs, runs up the field. It's on Aeneas Williams there and just turns around. He's so quick at you know, getting up and making those quick turns. And Tom Brady just hit him perfectly. You know, I was talking to Tom Brady yesterday and he said he watched Brett Favre. He said every time that he went one, two, three, and throw right away, he was successful. Whenever he held the ball too long is when he got in trouble. That's exactly what Tom Brady did on that last one. One, two, three, ten, throw it. First and ten Patriots. That's Antoine Smith. Let's go down to Rod Pitts. Well, Pat, as you know, all week long the talk has been about Tom Brady and an injured ankle. I talked to him at pregame warm-up. He said, I did two things. I iced it and I got it massaged about an hour before I came out. He said he got it massaged for almost 45 minutes. And one more important thing, he said, I'm going to take the pain injection just for a peace of mind. So far, looks like it's okay. Pat? All right, Ron, thank you. It certainly does look okay, doesn't it? They're doing a heck of a job. I mean, this drive started on the three yard line, and they did get it out of trouble. Brady out of the shotgun. Good. Drops it to Kevin Falk on the attempted screen. He only got back to the line of scrimmage. Good play by the Ram defense. That was Dre Bly. He's a corner on that side. And one thing about a Lovey Smith defense, if you're going to be a corner, you have to tackle. Dre Bly is the outside guy here. Here comes the screen, and you're going to see Dre Bly, number 32, come up and make that play. Third and eight coming as Lovey Smith, who's done a whale of a job with this Ram defense. Anytime you play a lot of cover, too, you're cover two corners of the outside guys that are up then if the ball comes towards them they become the force men 
Brady out of the shotgun. Wisely tucked it away when nobody was there and went out of bounds, but the Patriots will have to punt. But I'll tell you, that's still, I mean, they're going to have to punt, but Tom Brady and that uh, Patriot offense did a heck of a job because, you know, we're talking about field position, we're yep. talking about time of possession. They started that ball on the three and got it all the way out to midfield, and now they can put the Rams back if they don't get a good punt return. Dre Bly back deep. For Ken Walters punt. Bly lets it sail over his head and it bounds into the end zone, so they'll bring it back to the 20. 8.15 left in the first quarter, no score. The Rams and the Patriots. Super Bowl 36. Warner. Hope. Not much you can do about that. Well, that's the thing, you know, that the Torrey Holt is, is is such a great deep threat that even when you're playing him tight, you see he can run him off yep. like he's going to go deep and then and then make that quick turnout. That's exactly what he did to Otis Smith. I mean, Otis Smith was up there to, to bump him, but by turning him up, you know, making him think he was going deep, he could push Smith off and then come to his out. Second and two. Somebody yell unbalanced. Fall. And you know what the unbalanced means is is the unbalanced. Look, here's a tight end, here's a left guard. Now you got a center, a right guard, a right tackle, and a left tackle over on this side. So your power of the running formation is this side, the power of the passing is to this side. See Orlando Pace, who's normally the left tackle, goes up and lines up on the right side. And they got the first down. It's first and ten. The Rams will do that about four or five times a game. Either take Pace and put him on the right side, or take Rod Jones, the right tackle, and put him on the left side along with Pace. Warner, the crossing pattern, hit hard as Isaac Bruce. And that's one of the things that the Patriots sold their players. Let them catch it, or if they do catch it, make them pay well and the other thing is, is they felt in the first game that they were too soft on that short underneath stuff and on that time they, they, they said they want to play it a little tighter and a little tougher and on that play Ty Law played it tighter and tougher reverse coming fall was lined up wide right, came back. And watch who makes the play here. We talk about corners and plays that they have to make. On this side here, it's number 45, Otis Smith. Watch him right there. He comes up and he fakes yep. like he's going to take on the block, and then boom, he gets right underneath everything. It's a heck of a play by Otis Smith. Watch him come in there and then get underneath Marshall Fall. The mark of the veteran that he is. Otis Smith is a 36 year old cornerback. Falk on the move and Warner back to throw it. Hit from behind, lofts it out to Isaac Bruce who makes the catch, but there's a flag on the play. Now this is the thing. Anytime the anytime the Rams get in in a long yardage situation, the Patriots give them multiple defensive backs. That time they had six defensive backs in there, and again, that's how they want to match up their speed. You get more defensive backs, fewer linebackers in there. Holding 27 defense. That penalty is declined. The result is first off. We're talking about the six and seven defensive backs. That's Terrell Buckley, is number 27. And you see it happening right here. See him now. You can hit him the first five yards. After five yards, you have to get your hands off him. And you can see Buckley had that right hand yeah. right on Oz Hakeem's shoulder. And Oz just couldn't shake him. First Oz, down, however. Oz not the biggest of wide receivers. Here's Warner. Drops it out to Falk. Oh. Another Ram first down. The one thing 
that the Patriots all talked about is we got to know where number 28 is. Yeah, and, and watch who gets out there. The closest guy to him is number 93, Richard Seymour. He can really run. He was the number one draft choice of the Patriots, and watch him. He's the guy that runs Marshall Falk out of bounds. Starts here. Falk is going to, you know, it's a it's a fake bootleg. They come back to this side. But watch Seymour come down the line of scrimmage and run. And Marshall Falk was watching Seymour come down the line of scrimmage running. 14 yard gain, first and 10 Rams. Falk pumps left, throws right, throws to Conwell, and there's nothing there. All those pumps and all those fakes were wasted, wasted time. It's like uh, Kurt Warner has a little bloody lip there. Yes, you see that face mask. Remember a few weeks ago he got those vocal cords yep. injured and they made that special face mask for him where that bottom loop was there to protect his vocal cords. And of course the vocal cords are fine now but they're keeping that bottom part of that face mask on there so it doesn't happen again. He couldn't talk for well over a week. But where that mark is is well above the vocal cords. Here's Warner back to throw and throws it outside to James Hodgins. James Hodgins, a big fullback yep. by big. I mean, a guy that weighs 270 pounds. Here he is, right here. His nickname's Meat, and and most most fullbacks should be nicknamed Meat. I think. I mean, if you're a fullback and you're going to be out in the middle of the field. And you're going to run patterns like that. You have to be meat. Now, what do you think Ty Law's thinking when he sees 270 pounds of meat coming at him? It ought to Tackle be. Tackle him low. His nickname ought to be a lot of meat. <laughs> Here's your empty backfield. That's Ricky Pro in motion. Look out. Intended for Pro, no flags, incomplete. I think this Patriot defense is doing a good yeah, job of mixing absolutely. things up and, and, and not letting Kurt Warner get in a rhythm. It's not so much that they're they're hitting him or knocking him around, but they're changing him. And they give you know three linemen, four down linemen, three linebackers, five defensive backs, six defensive backs, seven defensive backs. Keep changing it up on every play. Jeff Wilkins on to attempt the field goal. This is going to be from 50 yards, and he was trying those in practice. And they were just barely getting over the ball. That one got over with some extra room. So the Rams get the lead 3 0 with 3 10 left in the first. A 53 yard field, a 50 yard field goal, bet rather, by Wilkins, the third longest in Super Bowl history. And it was the third 50 plus yard field goal in Super Bowl history. Patrick Pass is back a yard deep in the end zone to return the kick. And the ramp coverage is as it has been recently excellent. Mark Fields. The Patriots will start from their own 19 yard line with Tom Brady at the helm. He's three for three for 30 yards. He drops again. Dumps it over the middle. It's deflected by the Ram defense. We talk about the, the different things that the Patriots are doing on defense. They also are on offense. They started out that, that first series. They were using a lot of empty backfield and successful. Now they're going to two backs and trying to pound it in there. That's Antoine Smith who pounds it over to the left. And picks up a couple, maybe three. You know, that first drive was really a good yeah. drive as I said they started on the, the three yard line they didn't get any points out of it but but they did get good field position and then when the Rams finally got the ball back they got started on their 20 and then of course Kurt Warner does his business and they end up with a field goal. Third and five we'll call it Antoine Smith got more than I thought. Brady out of the shotgun. Through the three wide receivers, and they really like the slot. I mean, here's where they like to go on that. Kevin Falk was the intended receiver. And you see who was covering him? That's one of those zone dogs when the defensive end, Grant Whisperum, who's yep. made so many big plays for the Rams in the last month. Watch him 
He starts out there now he has to cover the back and Grant Wistrom is a, is a is a defensive lineman who can rush the passer who can play very well against the run and then can cover a back out of the backfield on a swing pass. Well the Patriots had the coverage figured out but they didn't figure on the speed of Wistrom. Ray Bly back for Walter's kick. And Bly is hit just as he catches the ball at the 20. Four wide receiver set up for the Rams. But the one lone running back is Marshall Falk. And they run the quick trap to him. Yeah, and that's the thing that they can do to you. You know, is spread you out. Now, usually when Marshall Falk lines up there, it's a pass. So what they try and do is make you think that it's a pass and then get up in your pass rush lanes and then come across and trap you. That time you see the trapper was big Rod Jones. Rod Jones weighs, he's a right tackle, he weighs about 350 or 360 pounds. Attack! Anytime you get in that about area, they don't want to disclose. Well, you know what happened is on the on the program it says 340. Yep. I talked to Jim Hannafin and he told me 350. Talked to Mike Martz and he goes, no, he said Rod Jones is, is over over 360. <laughs> but I'll tell you, last week he really played well. And I watched him on on, on film and, and 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 he was as good as anyone. Here's that unbalanced again, yep. unbalanced to the right. Yep. Orlando Pace lined up on the right side. 30 yard. Falk is going to get more than the yard. He gets a ram first down as he tips around the corner and Ty Law trips him up. You see what they did is they went unbalanced. They took Orlando Pace, put him over in the right, and then they came back to the tight end side and pulled the off guard, Adam Timmerman. See, here's the tight end side, and now they bring Adam Timmerman right here, and he comes from the left guard spot, makes that block right there, and Marshall Falk was able to run right around it. That's the, the, the passing side or the short side of an unbalanced line. 20 seconds left in the first quarter. Falk takes the pitch and he is taken down behind the line of scrimmage by Bobby Hamilton. Bobby Hamilton is going to get up the field. You see when things start away you see Tucker starts to block to the right and then Hamilton doesn't go for it. He just stays contained when, when, when they start like that you want that end here to chase Hamilton doesn't chase instead of chasing he just runs straight up the field and there's no place for Kurt Warner to go. It's the end of the first quarter and let's check in on our troops in Kandahar Afghanistan. First quarter statistics and thus far I think John based on predictions whatever that means. The Patriots play, played pretty well. Well, they've played very well, and, and you know, and it's a defensive back thing. They've gone four, five, six, seven defensive back. They haven't blitzed at all. It's all about matching speed and coverage, and not blitzing. Warner back to throw, stepping up and throws up the middle, incomplete. A lot of Patriots around Oz Hakim. That day looks like Willie. Willie McGinnis was very close. You see, Oz Hakeem, as he's coming off the line of scrimmage, this is one of the things the Patriots all talked about with these receivers is to bat them around. Whoa. Oz yeah. Hakeem got batted about four times on that play. They batted each other around. That's Terrence Shaw. Terrence Shaw is the, is the sixth or seventh defensive back. We're talking about how they're using multiple defensive backs Terrence Shaw is one of those multiple defensive backs. You can see Terrence Shaw right right here he's going to get hit by his own guy watch right there Roman Pfeiffer is coming from one side Terrence Shaw was on the coverage on the other side and they ran into each other no backs for the Rams it's third and 15 and Warner drops and throws can't give him that much time. Hakeem. Boy, and Kurt Warner didn't look for the short crosser that time. We see Terrence Shaw going into the locker room there, but watch the protection that Kurt Warner has. And this gives him the time, and, and he had a couple short crossers, and he didn't even look at him. He is going to go to Oz Hakeem right here on that deep end. The Rams love these patterns. You know, run someone short, get you to bite underneath, and then come in behind you on that deep end. They all run it well. 
I'll tell you one thing about these Ram receivers, they all do this. Right at the end, they're going to get down. First and 10 at the New England 39. Underneath, incomplete. Ernie Conwell. The guy that made that hit is Lawyer Malloy. You say, who's the, who's the leader of, of this defense? It's number 36, Lawyer Malloy. And he's that strong safety. He's a Leroy Butler. He's all those guys that, you know, John Lynch, all those tough safeties that sit there in the middle. And if you're going to bring a tight end or someone in the middle, they are going to be there waiting and unload on you. You better be prepared to get hit. And Rod Jones is back in the game now at right tackle. Pat Ryan Tucker had been in there a series for him. Four wide receivers set up for the Rams, including Ricky Pro. Here's Warner. Gonna run a quarterback draw does. Hesitated a moment and then got about four or five yards. We're talking about Rod Jones and how he just came back in, and, and, and you should have seen that block on that. I mean, he is so big and so strong. When he gets on a guy, he just collapses him. Watch right here. You're gonna, you're gonna see him here. See him? Just take that guy just right down there. Now, Kurt Warner wants to run a draw. He just runs it right no off Rod in, Jones. There's no room in there. I mean, that, I mean, you can get on a guy, but when you get on a guy and you knock him five yards out of the hole, that makes that hole five yards wide for your quarterback. Knock him into your own guy and knock him back. Third and five. Warner drops. Deflected. And Patriots chase. They can't get there. This, I believe, is out of all kickers' range. Four and five. You know, it's a it's a type of thing that that this Patriot defense, you know, has really gotten the Rams out of a rhythm. You know, and, and it's not by getting Kurt Warner out of a rhythm, or it's not by you know you know blitzing him or knocking him down or any of those types of things. It's just having good coverage, hitting those receivers when they get the ball, tipping balls, those types of things. Well, maybe not. Jeff Wilkins from 52 yards. He hit for 50. And that one is going to run out of gas, I believe. Wide left and short. Bourbon Street. Did you prowl Bourbon Street while you were here? <laughs> I walked up and down it. I don't know. I don't know if I prowled it, but I went early in the week. I went uh, Monday and Tuesday, and I haven't been back since. This is Antoine Smith. Three nothing. Ram. Yeah, and it's something. I mean, the Rams have had the, the ball. They've gone up and down the field. They've had the time of possession. They've had all those things, but they only have three points. So I think, the, you know, I mean, they're winning the game, but I think the Patriots are winning the battles in that they really haven't gotten anything going yet, but they, they, they've only had the ball for five minutes and, and 19 seconds, but they're only down three to nothing. When you let them hang close like that, it can come back to haunt you. I think that's a plus for the Patriots. Me too. That's Antoine Smith again. Left side for two or three. Charlie Weiss is the offensive coordinator of the of the Patriots, and now looks like he's he's just trying to take some time off because time off the clock just just to let your defense rest for a while, if nothing else, you know, and kind of kind of slow this thing down offensively so you can keep your defense fresh. And to do that, you need a few first downs. Third and three, and Brady goes back to the spread formation, the shotgun. Right, and Mike Compton, the left guard, becomes a snapper on that. Damian Woody, the center, becomes a left guard. Brady has time, lofts it deep. Incomplete. It looked as if he had a man. There's a flag on the play. David Patton, the target. Kim Herring on the coverage. Yeah, he got over there. You know, I don't think that... Tom Brady uh, got enough on that. I mean, he left that ball in the air too long. It looked like he had him, but again, the Rams play that cover too, so you have to hit that slot between the corner and the safety. It's going to be a penalty against the Rams. Holding 20 defense. That's a five yard penalty, automatic first down. Is Brady a lot bigger than you thought he was? Yeah, he's a lot. He's a, and, and he's even a little heavier. You know, at one yeah. time, he was just a, a, a tall, skinny guy. And, I think since the since he got with the Patriots, he's in his second year now. But they say he's gained 30 pounds. Yeah. He's 6'4 and 218, 230. He's a very impressive guy. I mean, he's impressive when you watch him play football, and he's impressive as a person. His weight depends on what happened that week. Here he is again, outside, incomplete, flag on the play. 
I think the last two passes though Tom Brady hasn't thrown them. I think he's aimed them. And that's 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 a difference. I mean that you know that one he may have had a shot on this left side down here. And yep. He just kind of lobbed it in that last pass there he aimed. And that's that's a bad thing. You got to let it go. Offense. Ten yard penalty still first down. Mike Compton. And Mike Compton is the left guard right there. You see the hold. You see that left hand in there. And then the right hand in there. Oh, he got a double dipper on that yes, one. Yes, he did. That old pick. Mike Compton, he's the guy, as I said, was a left guard. Remember, he played for Detroit. He's played every offensive line position. He's been a tackle, guard, center. And anytime they go to shotgun, he and Damian Woody switch positions. He was holding Kyoka Jackson. Here's Antoine Smith behind the line. There's nothing there. That's the thing that this Ram defense does so well, Pat, is swarm. I mean, they get, if one guy can get penetration, you know that, you know that there's going to be a whole bunch of guys. See him, they all slant to the right, but then they get back quickly to the left. And if the one guy can get in there, here comes two, three, four, and five right now. Dexter McLean led the pack. From his cornerback spot, he came up in a hurry. Second down. Brady draw play. Antoine Smith. Let's go down to Ron Pitts. John Madden, you were just talking about Charlie Weiss, the offensive coordinator. Well, after the first quarter, he got the entire offense together. He said, listen, we did what we wanted to do in that first quarter. We got to score points this quarter here. We got to go down the field. Let's see if they can. Pat? All right. We'll I'm, try to see if they can. Well, I think the first thing they ought to do is, is, is just take some time off the clock, like I was saying, and, and get some first downs and rest their defense. This is going to be a tough this third and very very long 17 to be exact here's Brady out of the pocket tosses it over the Ram bench that was smart because you know once once you get outside that tight end box then you can legally throw the ball away if you're inside that tight end and if, and if you're being rushed and if you throw it away that's a penalty but at least by throwing it away instead of going out of bounds Tom Brady at least gets his fourth down back at the original line of scrimmage. He was pressured by Tyoka Jackson. And Walter to put it. Dre Bly back deep for the Ram. Walter's kick is a good one. Bly looked. Saw him coming. Got to about the 18. Look at this. Fewest first half points. Nine points twice versus Tampa and the Giants, and this is like their last Super Bowl though against yeah. Tennessee. They you yeah. know had a lot of yardage and, and no points. Like in the first half of that game, they had three field goals, but they had 294 yards. Wonder gets the fall. And Falk bangs over the left side, moves the pile. And I know what both coaches are saying right now that you know we have to get something going. And Pat, did you ever think you would see one of these things on a football a, field? I thought it was a new golf club. No, what it is is that guy goes around and that picks up debris off the field. Debris? Yeah, that? debris. You know, it's like a like you see it, it has sticky yeah. stuff on it. Yeah. And 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 at, at uh, timeouts they, they go out and roll that up and down this carpet. Lester, Who would have thought, huh? Lester Hayes had more sticky stuff on him than that. What a French wonder ball. Falk gets out of bounds. Uh oh. Looked like there was a hit out of bounds. They didn't call it. You no, know, they didn't. I'll tell you, historically in, in Super Bowls, they have very few penalties. That's right. You, know, you just think about it. The, there's not a lot of penalties called in a Super Bowl. Here's good blocking. Again, you get your center out there, McCullum. He's out there trying to find someone to block, and there were there were no blue jerseys or Patriots around there. That was close to Marshall Falk being hit out of bounds. Does he have moves? Doesn't he? I think it's one of those philosophies like, uh, hey, they got this far, let them play. And and the officiating crews are all-star crews. They haven't worked together all year. And... Falk has to let it go. Picked off. Ty Law down the sidelines, touchdown. 
That's what the Patriots were waiting for. The rush by McGinnis is what caused it. And he had to get rid of the ball. That's what they want to do. Watch Mike Vrabel is right here. He's number 50. And he's the guy, and he hits Kurt Warner. In fact, he hit him in the head just as he threw that ball. And, that, and, and that's what took it off it. Watch Ty Law down here. He's playing man to man on Isaac Bruce. Again, he's watching. He's watching Kurt Warner all the way. Vrabel hits Warner as he throws the ball. Ty Law gets it and takes it in the end zone. Just took something off it. That late hit. It wasn't a late hit, it was a legal hit. But it took enough off the throw, and Ty Law took it, took it in for the Patriots. And no seven, one blocked Raymond. Seven to three. That's the first time they blitzed. Ty Law is even more proud of the Patriots, and the troops, and himself. It's one of those things you do. You get an interception, you run it for a touchdown, then you go to the auction. Yo Murphy. Short of the 30. You know that defense, Pat, that was a first blitz. Watch what they do. There's one, two, three, four, five down linemen. This is Mike Vrabel here. Now the Rams turn in in their pass protection, and he just comes free from the outside. See, they stunt to the inside. Here's Vrabel right here. He comes in unblocked, and he hits Kurt Warner just as he throws the ball. In fact, he did hit him in the head and in the face, but that took enough off of that that Ty Law was able to get the jump on the Pax Isaac Bruce. 7 3 New England. First and 10 Rams at their own 28. Ryan Tucker is now the right tackle. Here's Marshall Fall. Take it down after maybe one. Let's go down to Ron Pitts. We've had more bad news for the Rams. Rod Jones, a right tackle. He re injured that groin. He is out for sure. That could be big problems if they get another injury at the tackle position. Pat? You know, his last play was that play where uh, Vrabel went right by him. I, yeah. think, I, think, I think that probably they didn't recognize the five man line, and they probably should have fanned out to that side. And it he looked blocked like down. He blocked down, and then it looked like he recognized it. And maybe he pulled his groin again, turning around. Bumble. Warner gets it back. Has time and completes the pass. Tory Holt. That's why Kurt Warner is Kurt Warner. A lot of guys would have would have jumped on that, missed it, or would have slid over. He just calmly picks it up and completes it. Well, everybody stopped. Watch it. They saw him drop it. No, he just goes in there and picks it up. There's no pass rush here. Luckily, some guys keep running. He finally yeah. finds Tory Holt out here, and then, and, and, and Tory Holt makes a, a move on Ty Law. Look at the snap here. It looked like it. Uh, he pulled his hands out there before the ball got up there, but he made a heck of a pickup after doing that. And he got a first down. First the thing about down. artificial turf, the ball will bounce that way for you. Warner throws sidearm, caught by Oz Hakim. We we're talking about how can the Patriots do it what they have to do they have to do some things on offense and score touchdowns on defense and they've done that. They lead 7 3. But this Oz Hakeem is something all of these receivers I think Isaac Bruce is a master you know at being able to to run a pass pattern and not and not break down not slow down just come quickly out of your cut and then and then you will see Oz Hakeem can do it Corey Holt can do it. Ricky Prohl has always been able to do it. That's Bruce in motion. This is back to Falk. Falk, good tackle, good solid stop by Teddy Bruschi. There's a fired up guy, Teddy Bruschi. He was out on the field, Pat. I was talking to him about four hours before the game. He came out just to play catch, and, and he, he was ready to he was ready to hit someone about one o'clock this afternoon. And he's just that type of player. I mean, he's. He's very aggressive. He's very instinctive. And the thing you have to do, the first thing you have to do to be a good defensive player is to be a good tackle. Well, that that is textbook tackle right there. Four wide receivers on third down. Warner drops. The pole and it's picked up by the Patriots, but I think they're out of bounds. 
Patriots lawyer Malloy came down with it. I think what they're saying is that Malloy didn't have control of the ball when he went out. You see him, he's just sitting there, he's playing safety right back here, catches a ball, and you can see that he really didn't have control of the ball and both feet inbound. See, the ball is up there and it's sliding down his leg as he steps out of bounds. That was a good call. I tell you, the, uh, this Patriot defense has this Ram offense a little shook up, don't they? Yes, they do. Troy Brown back deep for Patriots punt. Signals fair catch. Ooh. 15. And there was no Ram close by. In just three short weeks, the world's best drivers return to Fox from the Subway 400 at The Rock. Brace yourself for 13 weeks of exciting NASCAR Winston Cup action like you've never seen it before. The Subway 400 at The Rock, February 24th, right here on Fox. Can't beat a good old race at The Rock, can you? Unless it's with Super Bowl 36. <laughs> well, that's after Super Bowl. Yeah. You know, in the, that's in three yeah, weeks. Yeah, yeah, later in three weeks. You, you need a good old race at the Rock. Patriots seven, Rams three. Six ten left in the first. The pick is back to Antoine, Antoine Smith, who bangs his way out close to a Patriot first down. Look at all the room that Troy Brown has on this. I mean, here's Troy Brown here, and the closest guy is about 10 yards away from him. And you know, and he's so good at taking that ball and getting it up the field. And that's what he's saying now. Yeah, he knows yeah. that too. He said, "Why, oh, why did I just do that?" First down run by Smith. He's had eight carries so far for. 38 yards in that last play, we've got 11 of them. Two tight ends. Here's Brady. Pass complete outside to his fullback, Mark Edwards. That was a good read by Tom Brady. Adam Archuleta, the strong safety, came up on that side and, and he was coming on a blitz. So, so if he comes on a blitz, then you have to get it out of there quickly and you have to get it out of there hot. You see, he's right there. You see him come? So now Brady sees him coming and knows that the area that he vacated is the area that he wants to get the ball in. Second and five. Patriots at their own 31. Smith. Gets close to a first. And the Patriots came out here in practice yesterday and 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 they they practiced and took their team picture. And I, I, I was surprised how big Antoine Smith is. I mean I mean he is a I mean he he, he looks like a fullback. He is a big powerful guy. And it, it, it takes a few to bring him down and he looks like he he knows how to finish those runs too. Well so far he has no question about that. Well that's one of the things they had to do is establish the line of scrimmage. Mark Edwards gets the carry and gets the first down for New England. Those old lead fullbacks usually don't get many carries because yep. you, you have the tailback behind them and, and he's usually the first guy through which is a blocker. That time they just handed it to Mark Edwards. See usually when they line up like this the first back here blocks and the second back gets a ball here they just hand it to Mark Edwards who is the first back or the fullback. See boom just right there you just get a little slant it doesn't take much. Because he got his shoulder pad so low to the ground. They didn't need much, but whatever they needed, they got. The handoff is inside this time to Mark okay. Edwards again. What's going on? Well, when you're going to throw a guy a bone, throw him two bones in a row. Coming up at halftime is the E Trade Financial Super Bowl 36 halftime show featuring a very special performance. But how about the score coming up at half? This. Uh, Surprise and entertainment. And Juan Smith this time is caught behind the line. And good pursuit by the Ram defense. That's the thing that they do so well. You know, Lovey Smith, the defensive coordinator of the Rams, brought that in where, where no one can loaf. He counts anyone that doesn't hustle, anyone that doesn't run as fast as they can on every play. If they slow down, they get a loaf. 
if they speed up they get a loaf because that means that they were loafing before they speed it up. And so everyone is so conscious of not getting a loaf they all sprint to the ball. There are the whistles. I'm out Rams that's it first. Here's a guy who's been having a, a, a great season and a, and a great last month and a very deserving guy who's having a homecoming. You know, we just looked at two of those Rams that are going to be in the Pro Bowl, but also two of those Rams that are from New Orleans. And uh, this is a homecoming. In fact, both of those guys, we're talking about Marshall Falk and Aeneas Williams, sold here in this stadium. They sold popcorn and they sold soda. Brady back to throw it. And he had no time as the Rams swarm. Tayoka Jackson and Leonard Little. You see, they, 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 they fake the blitz, and then Leonard Little comes on a stunt, and he's the first guy there. Yep. You know, the tackle works to the outside. The end is number 91. Leonard Little works to the inside on that play. And all Brady can do is get both hands on the ball and protect it as he goes down. The Rams do that a lot. You know, they, where they where they stunt their line, where they'll slant the line, or they'll twist them. Walter back to punt. Dre Bly deep for the Rams. Signals fair catch. Wisely so. First and ten at their own 15. Inside handoff to Oz Hakim, who tripped over the turf. They're going to huddle. I was saying that one, the only blitz they had was that Mike Vrabel uh, hit on Warner when he threw the interception. Flag on this play. Bernie Kukar discussing it with his crew. Always like Bernie we have a Kukar. neutral zone infraction. 50 defense. Five yard penalty, first down. Mike Vrabel. And that'll give the Rams a first down. Mike Vrabel is he's a linebacker that came over from the Pittsburgh Steelers and they use him as a linebacker and then they'll also put him down like they are right now. I mean he's he's down down. He'll play a fourth or fifth defensive lineman. Warner up the middle of the pool. The ball pops loose and the Patriots have it. Buckley has got the ball and Buckley is caught from behind as a flag on the play. Yeah, but the flag has to be post possession. Yep. The flag was way back here after the run back had started for about 20 yards. This is what the Patriots said they had to do. They said they're going to catch someone and sometimes we got to knock there it out no of them. No fall in the play. There was not a block in the back. No fall. No foul. But says here, 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 Prohl is going to come in, and you see Harris just comes in there and he just puts his helmet right on the ball. That was Antoine Harris. Antoine Harris. We're talking about how they use five, six, and seven defensive back match up their speed with the speed. One of those speed matchups again is Antoine Harris, who comes in and makes the big hit. That 16 wins, 31 turnovers, two losses, 14 turnovers. Brady goes out of the shotgun. First and ten at the Ram 40. Brady. The inside straight Troy Brown. Brown inside the Ram 25. They better take a timeout. This is a thing that they do so well is find different ways to get the ball to Troy Brown. You know the same things that make him a great punt returner make him a great screen runner. The second he gets that ball, boom, that next step is right up the field. They get a first down, they take a timeout. Troy Brown, 101 catches. He's been hanging around for nine years, but this is the first year he's become a star. Yeah, and you know, he was always a very good punt returner. You look right here, that 14.2 uh, average led the led the league. And and the, you know he is so explosive. He's not he's not a big guy. He's not a real fast guy. But his first step, you know, is in fact Mike Martz was telling us that, and 
And Lovey Smith said the same thing that his first step in getting turned and getting up the field, he does as well as anyone in the league. I was watching him on the tapes. This is a Ram timeout now, watching him on tape. And it looks as if the defenders are trying to wait for him to make his first move, and he's already gone. Well, and that's that's the thing that he does so well because he not only does it quickly, but he gets low too. You know, yep. I mean, it's one of those things where he's down, and and that first step is is just a burst. You know what I just saw out of my left eye? Uh, Me? Matt Light. No, 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 no. Uh, right, right down there. See Matt Light, the uh, starting left tackle of the Patriots, is limping into the locker room. You know, he had an injured knee, and that'll bring in Grant Williams. I'm sure that's that's what I just saw out of my left eye. See, he was a rookie starting left tackle. Well, Grant Williams went to nearby LSU. He's six seven. He's the left tackle. This is where Mike Compton is a snapper. Brady complete. That's his backup tight end Wiggins. That's the tight end that they like to throw to. I mean, Rutledge is kind of the blocker. Jermaine Wiggins is is a receiver, and Brady likes him. I mean, he's not the fastest guy, but boy, he can get get in and out of a break. The Patriots in the two-minute drill now. No huddle, and Brady's got him going. Incomplete intended for Patton in the corner of the end zone. Yep, and that's on Dexter McLean. Anytime you get down here and you're going to pick on someone, it's going to be Dexter McLean. You know, last week we know that they got one on him. Here's Dexter McLean. Here's if you're going to get something, you want to get something on him. You see, they got the man to man. Remember last week, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles got a touchdown. That same place on the field, that same side against Dexter McLean. Third and about two. The handoff of the pitch comes back. And Antoine Smith around the corner first down. Beg your pardon, that's Kevin Falk. I'll tell you, a great block by, by Grant Williams. We're just talking about Grant Williams. Just came in as a left tackle. But watch the block that he makes. He's going to get two. He's going to pull right here. And watch, right there, boom, he gets one. Right there, he gets two. That was pretty good. I mean, you yeah. bring, a, bring a big old tackle in and then he gets around the corner provides a corner for you and then Kevin Falk just used that block and got to the outside first and goal at the Ram eight thirty six seconds left before halftime the Patriots the, pa Red. the Patriots have one timeout and they just took it Redmond had come in as the running back now the Patriots three. have none timeouts Redmond they like Redmond as a as a pass protector that uh, you know they bring him in because he's the best blitz blocker. You, know, you wonder how the score got this way and we talked about the thing that this Patriot defense said that they're going to do they're going to catch some but when they do they're going to hit him and they're going to knock the ball out of there and you can see how well they've done that this first half make him pay. Bill Belichick told me the other night he said we just got to be physical he said he said the only way we can win this game is we have to be more physical on him and we have to find other ways to score other than our offense talk about a guy that's become easier to converse with and loosened up yeah, he's a good guy he's yeah. a good guy he's a great coach yeah here's Brady back firing end zone touchdown Patriots David Patton made a great catch. And that's the guy they're going to work on is Dexter McLean. They didn't get him the first time. They got him that time. David Patton made a heck of a move, though. Did he ever. And what a catch he made. And what a throw Tom Brady makes. Watch him. He starts out. Then he starts up. He threw his little out and up. And he threw it right to that second pylon. See the out there, he sells him in the out. McLean takes a step up. Brady throws it right over to a perfect spot for David Patton. Right, who would have thought that, that someone's going to explode on offense and it's going to be the New England Patriots in Super Bowl 36? Here comes Bernie Cook car. This looked like a review, maybe. 
And remember it's in the last two minutes of the of the half so it would be a booth review it's not a challenge by uh, the either coach. The field of a touchdown. I don't I didn't see too much wrong with that touchdown. Now they have to they just have to see if both feet were in bounds. He has control. One. There's one foot. There's hand. a hand, then you Two don't feet. need another foot. You got the hand. Did he have the ball? Yes. This will be a short review, or should yeah. be. He has control of the ball. He's down right there. That's a touchdown. You know, you know he could have lost control of it after, though. I don't watch think he this did. Watch after. Watch when he's out right there. Right there. Looked like he started to lose control of it. But if they call it a touchdown, and, and what, what happens after doesn't make any sense anyway. It doesn't make any difference anyway. Because if he has it here, control, down, down, now he's in. Now it doesn't, and he still had control. Still had control. Yeah, he I, did. Yeah. Like I said, I've, I've always liked Bernie Kukar as a referee. And, you know, all the games that we've done, I've always felt when, when he referees a game, he has control of that game. And I don't think this overrule, this will be overruled. I don't think this challenge will stand up. After reviewing the play, it is a touchdown. Something about Bernie Kuka, he doesn't leave any doubt. No, he, he doesn't. <laughs> That's what I like. Yeah, it is a touchdown. <laughs> he does he blurts out that touchdown. And what a throw by Tom Brady. Yep. I mean, David Patton made a made a heck of a move. He sold Dexter McLean on the out. McLean took a bite and then he runs the up, and Tom Brady makes a perfect throw. Benetary for the extra point. 14 to 3. This is Shock Dome 36. You know, that's that's a great thing about professional football and all football is you never know what's going to happen. You know, people can say this is going to happen, that's going to happen, and if you really knew, and if you really say what was going to happen, and it happened, there'd be no reason to come and play the game. I've Ultimately, you, eventually, they got to get out there and play it. I've heard you say that a million times when someone inevitably asked one of us, "Who's going to win? Who's going to win?" Who knows? And if you do, you'd be in another business, I think, yeah. wouldn't you? And this, this is a Patriots pad after the ruling. I think that David Patton had to knew that had to know that that was a touchdown and know that he was in bounds. Oh, but yeah. He just liked to hear the assurance. He's a speed guy. Ex giant. Look who's deep for the uh, the Rams. You know, we saw him do this in practice yesterday, and I remember when Joe Gibbs used to coach Washington Redskins. You could always tell a big game when Daryl Green was back there as a punt returner. When I saw Marshall Falk back there as a kick returner in practice yesterday, I said the same thing that that if you if you get in a big game, you have Marshall Falk back there in case you need a big play on a kickoff return. I would say they need a big return. And if they need anything or anyone to get their offense going or get their team going, I think that spark has always been Marshall Falk. And a Terry will kick it off. Trying to get it away from Marshall Falk. Scampers up and steps out of bounds at the six yard line. Vinatieri did a heck of a job to get it over there like that, didn't he? Yeah, Vinatieri's done a heck of a job for these Patriots all year. How about those? How about those two kicks he made against the Oakland Unbelie Raiders in that snowball? Unbelievable. Yeah, and then and then they kick it off and. You know, sometimes you have different heroes. I mean, you have quarterbacks and running backs and wide receivers, and this guy right here has been a big, a pretty big part of this Patriot success. What's wrong with having a kicker as your hero? Well, no, I know you can't. <laughs> With respect to you, I, I usually say that. And there's no such thing as a chip shot on a field goal, that's, too. That's correct. The Rams are just going to run it out and go in and talk it over. Go in, talk it over, and come up with a new plan because this Patriot defense 
again without a lot of blitzing and stunning but using multiple defensive backs I think have kind of thrown this Ram offense for a loop. That is the correct score 14 3 Mike Martz. And take a look at the first half statistics. Well you know the it was it was all about the Patriots defense and I think using the five six seven defensive backs and then the, what they did with it if you look here they had two turnovers one 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 was Ty Law's interception you know, you know for a touchdown and the other one was Ricky Pearl fumble and they got 14 points off. And and that's that's the story I think of the of the first half is the is a job that that Patriot defense did generally but specifically matching up their speed guys their defensive backs and then those defensive backs not only covering but the way they hit and you know they were sort of talking about the things that we have to do to win and they pretty much done those. Well yeah I mean we have to match up with their speed yeah. and then be more physical than they were and in the first half the Patriots were more physical than the Rams from a yard deep in the end zone it's Patrick pass he gets away from one Ram. Pass heads up the sideline outside the 30. Let's go to Ron Pitts now who talked to Bill Belichick at the end of the first half. What's the number one adjustment you're going to want to make with your team going in now. Well I think we need to we need to stay out of long yardage on offense that would be the biggest thing that could help us. All right coach good luck okay, second half. Thank you. Not too many adjustments need be made this is Antoine Smith. Pass the 40. Yeah, I think that's the key Pat when Bill Belichick's out there he, he yeah. can't think of any adjustments yeah. that, he, that he has to make for the second half that is a pretty good indicator that things in the first half have gone very very well. I mean, their offense has three touchdowns and their defense and special teams have three touchdowns in this postseason and that was one of the things that he says he said we can't beat them just with our offense scoring touchdowns we have to score touchdowns other ways. Smith again into the Rams secondary. Made some great moves on that play. Let's look at Tom Brady's pass chart in the first half. You see the gold ones are the are the completions, and he really hasn't completed a pass over 10 yards. But you know the big one was that touchdown, that out and up down there to David Patton, and and that was that was the one that they needed. Everything else has been you know 10 yards and in, and so somewhere I expect him to go to go deep in this half. They're at the St. Louis 47. Right now they've got the Rams reeling. Right now wouldn't be a bad play. Going deep and just overthrown. David Patton had a couple of steps. Well, you know, you look at that pass chart and see that you know you didn't throw many or complete many in that first half. So it's one of the things that you talk about and say, look, the next time we get good field position, let's go for the deep one. And then when you're going to go for the deep one, you're going to go it to your speed guy, David Patton. So you could kind of feel that one coming right there. Second and ten. Brady pointing to the Ram defense. J.R. Redman is the back. And he had no chance as Grant Wistrom, as he we have often seen him do, whistled into that secondary and brought him down. Well, you know, we talk about the Ram defense and how they stunt. And you can see Wistrom, he just goes to the outside and he just, I mean, he goes to the inside of the tight end and gets penetration. That's that's what will follow up any running game is when a defensive guy can beat a down block and get in the backfield and get the penetration. And penetration is the key word. And Grant Wistrom does that a lot. I mean, yes, he comes he up, and as I said earlier in this last month, he's come up with a lot of big plays for this Ram defense. Third and long, third and 14. Here's that screen again to Troy Brown. They get yardage, but not enough for first, and not enough for Vinatieri. But they did a good job. I mean, Tom Brady is doing a good job of managing this game. I mean, a guy, you know, a second-year player, he's the third youngest quarterback to ever ever start in a Super Bowl. If the Patriots were to win, he'll be the youngest quarterback to ever win a Super Bowl. But I'll tell you, he's playing out there with a heck of a lot of poise. For a young quarterback or for any quarterback, it doesn't make any difference if he's young or not. He is playing well. High 
high kick. Dre Bly is pointing like I'm supposed to get a flag, but none comes flying. The Patriots kept the ball just over four minutes. And it's been pretty tough to come back in a Super Bowl. But the Rams have a chore in front of them, first and ten at their own 16. Warner steps up as a flag on the play. The pass is complete to Holden. But there's a flag back down, back and behind the line of scrimmage. That should be holding. I was going to say that's in the area of offensive holding, too, and that's going to go against the Rams. Rams got the holding. Patriots. 84 offense. At the distance of the goal, still first off. Ernie Conwell. And Ernie Conwell is right here. You see that left hand now. Sometimes when they're having trouble with pass protection, the Rams will keep Ernie Conwell, their tight end, in as a pass protector to help. That's what they did that time, and you could just see that he reached his left hand out there and grabbed. You see Ryan Tucker again as a right tackle now. Rod Jones has that groin injury and is probably out for the rest of the game. First and 18. Warner rolls right, going to throw back, and does throw back. That's Az Hakeem. And he scrambles for first down yardage and almost broke it. Remember against the Green Bay Packers, Kurt Warner did that. He rolled right and threw back to the other side. Watch him. He's going to start out here, roll to his right. They, they take their pass protection that way. Then he looks to the right, comes all the way back, and hits Az Hakeem on the left side. Az Hakeem is one of those punt returner type guys, too. He started, so he started at the end, had that option to go back to the out. That, that could do the same things running with the ball after he catches it as you can as a punt returner. Warner on first. Pulls it down, picks it back up, and fires complete. Isaac Bruce. The receiver hit by lawyer Malloy. I think he was trying to go deep to Torrey Holt. And we see Isaac Bruce very quick. He says it. The, the thing that he could do is he said those guys don't take away a side so you can beat him with quickness, but Ty Law was there. I mean, Ty Law had pretty good coverage on him, and he just fell down. You see how fast Bruce came out of that break, though. Well, that's that's the thing that he can do. He can run in and out of a break at full speed, better than anyone in this game. Water. Incomplete. There comes the flag. Tory Holt was yelling. Otis Smith. The cover man. Yeah, and Otis Smith was wet tight on him, and I think that they try and do that. You know, you know, throw behind him, throw to his That's back shoulder. 45 defense. That's the first off. And either get a pass interference or completion. You see, Otis Smith is up here tight. Torrey Holt gets a little in front of him. And I think they're trying to throw to that back shoulder to either get pass interference or catch a ball. I mean, that was more to get pass interference, I think, than anything else. They get a first down, and the Rams go in a hurry. Falk sacked at the 49. Vrabel, Seymour. Oh, and I'll tell you, he had he had Torrey Holt down here on this sideline. If he would have just thrown it the hole, I think he could have gotten a touchdown here. And he's on the left. He's looking at him right there. You see, he gets that pressure there and couldn't do anything about it. If you look on that left sideline, I think that Torrey Holt was running free. See, Marshall Falk comes and he throws a whiff at Seymour. And Seymour gets on, on Kurt Warner before he could even get that ball to Torrey Holt. And the Rams call timeout. Orlando Pace injured his, his knee last week in the game against the Philadelphia Eagles, and, and he wasn't supposed to go back in. The trainers and doctors didn't want him to go back in. And, Jim Hannafin Lanko said the next thing he saw, he was in there playing. There's a Going one. deep, out of bounds, out of bounds. That was the one I was talking about, Pat. They had that to play before. And then and then that, that was the one that I think when Richard Seymour got to Kurt Warner, I think that's where he was trying to go on the play before. You see, because he had the same thing. And they're playing a form of cover two, and there is a hole right there, and Kurt Warner just throws it a little wide. Well, he, he got hit just as he let it go. And I'll tell you where they saw that again was on that play before 
because they had the same thing and, and, and Torrey Holt was wide open on that one. Third down 17 four wide receivers set up again. Safety blitz coming they pick it up pretty well but the ball Warner is hit his arm was moving incomplete Roman Pfeiffer. I tell you these guys are really something this Patriot defense here's Pfeiffer right here and you, and you can see that he waits and then he comes on a delay you see he lets he lets the blocking set he lets everyone get set then he comes on a delay blitz he gets his both hands up there and Kurt Warner can't throw through it watch both hands up there the hand is coming forward but the ball is out after it comes forward Pfeiffer almost waited until Marshall Falk made his block and then here he came and that's exactly what he did that's called a delayed blitz and Roman Pfeiffer did an excellent job at timing it flag on the play delay the game offense five yard penalty still for that's against the Rams I think the Rams probably wanted that that's one of the things you want five five more yards so that you can get it let's watch that delay blitz again and you'll see him wait and wait and wait until the block happens here now once Marshall Falk commits to that block then Roman Pfeiffer is going to come just like you said Troy Brown moves up five Baker back to punt Brown chases it over close to the sideline and he is wrapped up by the Rams short of the 20 yard line by Jeff Robinson. There's a guy who's done just a whale of a job. The commissioner Paul Tagliabu next to his wife Chan enjoying an American soda. And he's very proud of you know having this game played today under these circumstances because he had to you know do a lot to get it changed. Remember, there was supposed to be a week ago, and they had a car dealers association meeting, and and I think he did what a lot of people thought would be impossible. This is Antoine Smith, and he rolls out past the 35. Let's go down to Ron Pitt. Got to talk to Mike March at halftime. Obviously frustrated. He said we got to do two things: hold on to the ball and finish drives. He said we're having a complete protection breakdown. That's what happened on the Ty Law interception. Some of that was on Kurt Warner as well. On the other side of the ball, the Patriots in the locker room, guys started to get fired up at first. Then some veterans said, hey, calm down. We got another 30 minutes of football left to play. Quick injury update. Matt Light, the tackle, is out of the game. Pat. Thanks, Ron. Rams are coming safety blitz. Patriots are coming reverse, and this is David Patton. Patton still on his feet, fighting to the Ram 43. Patriot first down. I tell you, Charlie Wise is opening up everything, isn't he, Pat? He has a he has a run going, run right at him. He has a few Brady passes. He has the reverses. When we watched practice the other day, I saw them run about 10 reverses, and I thought, you know, this team runs more reverses than any team that I've ever seen in my life. Look out, Tom Brady! Don't get out in front of that thing. You're not going to block. But but they have reverses. They have reverses right. They have reverses left, and they have passes off the reverses. You see Brady out there in front. <laughs> yeah. If you're not going to do anything, don't get out there. Antoine Smith rips it up the middle for good yardage. You know, this this whole thing of being physical, and the you know, and the Patriots are all about that today, and coming in that's what they thought they could do and and this is part of it too where you just you you run a reverse on them you get some things going and then you just pound straight at them because as I said earlier the Rams aren't a big defense they're a very fast defense and they feel the Patriots do that they can bigger and stronger and they can make some plays there Look at this, three times to the left five times in the middle six times to the right so they spread it out pretty well Smith again not much this time. You know, for whatever it's worth, no team has ever come from this far behind at this point and won a Super Bowl. Yeah, I, uh, that's that's a that's a surprise. And you think when you know a team like the Rams, you think if there's anyone that could do it, it would be an explosive team like the Rams. But I will say this: the Rams aren't explosive today. And you know, some of it is a Rams. Some of it could be, you know, Kurt Warner. Some of it could be the line. But a big part, or the biggest part of it to me, is this Patriot defense. Patriot defense. 
Here's Brady back to throw and fires to Troy Brown incomplete. That was Dre Bly who knocked it away. You know what this offense is doing they're just getting enough time of possession they're just getting enough field position that they don't give the Rams good field position. That was pretty good coverage by Dre Bly. Yes it was. I mean watch him get that right hand in there and knock the ball away. I think they look like Dre Bly is expecting that slant. I mean that's one of the things that you, know, you get the third down you're probably going to go to Troy Brown. With Finitary you thought they might go for a field goal. But that would give the Rams too good a field position so they punt it. Went into the end zone and the Rams will start at the 20. Charlie Weiss. Talking to Brady and Drew Bledsoe sitting by him. But here's the unit that's done the magic. Right, and the Patriots are in their five defensive backs now on first down. Caught, Caught by a pursuing Anthony Pleasant. And we talk about the about the Rams and, and and how their defensive line and they pursue this. This defensive line of the Patriots has been pursuing too. And we've seen you know Richard Seymour make a lot of plays. We've seen Anthony Pleasant just make that one. Look at their defenses. They've had four defensive backs 12 times, five defensive backs 10 times, six defensive backs 15 times. And they had seven defensive backs three times. So the regular four defensive backs is the smallest of the of the packages that they're using. The Rams who are trying to come from behind only have one timeout left. And you see there they they were playing five defensive backs. Yep. We saw Terrell Buckley just come off. They, they'll put Buckley in. They'll put McGinnis in to give him a, a pass rush and an extra guy. And then they'll take him out and go to base. So they keep changing that the whole game. And the Rams have never got a feeling for it. Lawyer Malloy. <laughs> Lawyer Malloy's a player, isn't he? Yes, he is. I, you know, I like those guys that. That you are know, kind of half defensive back and half linebacker. That if you need a defensive back, they can hit the open field. And if you need a linebacker, they can tackle like that. There's numbers 27 in there. Terrell Buckley again. When he comes in, that means that they're in five defensive backs. When Antoine Harris comes in, they're in six defensive backs. Now the Patriots don't like what they see, and they call a timeout. And we look at this the, the pressure that they've gotten on Kurt Warner today you know and they've only really blitzed like three or four yeah. times and you can see a lot of this pressure and a lot of these hits are are just the front four that when of course there was a, a blitz that was a delayed blitz but but they've been getting to Kurt Warner today I and mean, they've been knocking him around uh, uh, pretty well and again without a lot of blitzing and one of the times they got him and got close Forced him into that interception that put the Patriots ahead. You can see under pressure, he's been sacked twice, hit eight times, hurried six times. He has one interception. He's had two batted balls. The guy that hit him on that interception was Mike Vrabel. Second and four. And he did hit him pretty good. Too. Yes, he did. Bruce goes in motion. Handoff is to Falk. Marshall Falk. Yeah, if you watched that just two plays ago, uh -huh. watch Kurt Warner. He looked like he hurt his thumb again. You know, he hurt hurt his thumb and his right thumb on the and the first game of the season, and it has never really healed up. In fact, we were talking the other day, and he said that thing won't heal up until a month or so after he quits playing. You know, it doesn't throw anymore. But I think he just hurt it on that play. I think he did too. He keeps something almost all the time that he can squeeze and try to. Strengthen that thumb, but it never has been right all year long. Here he goes. This is Falk again. Falk right at midfield. Well, anytime, anytime there's a run in there, there's a lot of blue jerseys around it too, aren't there? You know, you know, you know sometimes you forget those defensive linemen yeah. and the job that they do. But look what they've done tonight. Three points allowed on third down. to three out of eight. They have two sacks and interception, two batted balls. And of course the big one was Ty Law's interception for a touchdown. So this Patriot defense has done their job. Terrence Shaw 
back in the game. Okay. Warner on second down, drops to throw it. No. And drops it out to Tory Holt, who's slung to the ground by Otis Smith. And we see those defensive backs here. We talk about the number of defensive backs. This time they have six defensive backs in there. Otis Smith is man to man on Torrey Holt. He just runs a crossing pattern, and Otis Smith runs with him. That's the thing. You know, you know there's, a, there's a couple ways to use your speed. One is to go straight up the field, the other is to go across the field. I don't know who this crowd is for. Who would you think? I think they started out a lot more for the Rams and now I think there's a lot more for the Patriots. I agree. Warner picked off. That's Otis Smith. And Otis Smith gives it to the Patriots at the Ram 33 yard line. Everything they had to do they they have done. There's Torrey Holt. He falls down. He goes to get up. The ball's thrown right over his head. Otis Smith, who maybe helped him down, is right there to pick it off. The Patriots are doing today everything that they said they had to do to win this game. They get the ball at the ramp 33 with just over three minutes left. 325 left in the third quarter. Mike Marks is watching the screen there and shaking his head because this is a timing and rhythm passing game and you can throw the timing of the quarterback off or for the timing of the rhythm of the receiver off that time they threw the receivers timing off. Here's Brady going to work. Caught by Brown. Boy did he drill that one in there. Here's the way the Patriots wanted to be introduced as a team. That's what Bill Belichick said was so important. We're a team. Well, they came out of the tunnel as a team and they played as a team. No question about that. Kevin Falk is the deep back behind Brady, first and ten. Pitches back to Falk. He's going to throw a halfback pass. He, he was trying to throw it. Trying to load up. That was the thing we saw them the other day not only throwing reverse passes but halfback passes and you can see him come out here and he has he has a receiver deep and he's trying to throw it there. Now the rule you always tell a running back unless the guy is ridiculously wide open don't throw the ball. That's what Falk did there. The guy wasn't ridiculously wide open. It was Grant Wistrom who came rocketing in and got him second at 14. Antoine Smith is back. Brady back to throw it again right through the hands of Wiggins the sure handed one something happened to the hands Tory hold over there just got pushed around and we talked about the timing being thrown off and his timing was thrown off and Kurt Warner was looking that way and threw it anyway and, and got the interception. This is kind of the Patriot defensive day so far. Oh, man, is it? Tom Brady's day. I mean, you'd never guess that this is the first year that this guy has ever started as a quarterback in the NFL. Third and 14 is in the shotgun. He starts patting in motion. High snap, which he got. Whoa! The up back took it. Kevin Falk. It was a good fake by yeah, Brady. Yeah, Brady faked, and they just snapped it instead of snapping it to Brady in the shotgun. They snap it to Kevin Falk. Watch Kevin Falk is right there. See they snap it to him. Brady goes like it's a high one and Kevin Falk just runs it to the outside. They didn't get a first down but they got better position for their field goal attempt. Adam Venateri on from 37 yards out. Venateri certainly one of the best kickers. And that exhibition he put on in the slow storm. Just added to his credentials, and so does that one. 17 3. Look at that. Lawyer Malloy and Ty Law. Remember when we did a, a preseason game a year ago? We went to the Patriots training camp. Yep. I remember watching Ty Law, and I was thinking, 
just in practice he's one of the he's one of the best defensive backs that I've seen I mean the way that he moves and covers the technique was so good yeah it, we it was at. just something where you would just stand there in the sideline and you you couldn't take your eyes off of me reminded me a lot of Mike Haynes remember how Mike Haynes was, yep. was, was so smooth High Law is a very smooth defensive back. Then the guy sitting next to him, Lawyer Malloy, you know, he's a he's a card carrying hitter. Benetary's kick chases Joe Murphy over into the corner. Returning kickoffs is not a good time to dance. 105 left to play in the third. The football season doesn't end with the Super Bowl. Still one more game. Don't miss the best players in the NFL. But the Patriots, what a story. You know, yeah. the last game they lost was to the Rams, and that made them five and five. And that from that point on, they haven't lost another game. Eight in a row. Warner retreats. Gets Isaac Bruce. First down ran. Less than a minute left in the third. 17-3 Patriots. And you can feel that now the Rams feel that they that, that there has to be some urgency in this. You can feel, you know, that we can't be horsing around here anymore. We have to get the ball and get it up the field, get in and out of the huddle, do those kinds of things, kind of speed this game up, change the tempo, because the Patriots have been controlling the tempo. Get some points on the board. Here's Warner back to throw again. Looking and throwing to Falk. Falk. As only he can do, dodges the first man. I'll tell you one thing. This this Patriot this Patriot team came here to hit today. They are tackling I mean, this, hard. This this this, this is hitting weather. I mean, they get and, and a guy's out in the open. And Marshall Falk, we know, is very dangerous in the open field. But look how they surround him. I mean, you know, they got him outside, inside. And then right in front of him, you always try and form a triangle against the guy in the open field. 17-3. The Patriots over the Rams. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? I remember the first tape we looked at Monday, I guess. Looked at the Patriots and we thought, no way they can stay with the Rams. Well, as we start our fourth quarter, Pat, it's our last fourth quarter together. And yep. I just want to say thanks for all the memories of a lot of great quarters. They have really been. It's been terrific. Yeah, 21 years, and, and then you multiply all those years by all those games, and then you multiply that by all those quarters, and it's been very, very oh, special, and you've made it very special. Huh? So have you, and I appreciate it. And a flag as well. There's no play, no play. Referee Bernie Kukar said no play. 45 offense. It's five yard penalty, still third down. Jeff Robinson. But this one's not over yet, John. No, 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 it's not. I'm just saying we're just starting the fourth quarter. There's Jeff Robinson there. And you see just that little wiggle. Once you get yes. down there, you put that hand down, you can't have any more little wiggles. Third and six. Now you feel like the, the Rams haven't really gotten offensively into any kind of rhythm today. I really do. Here's Warner back to throw. And does throw up the middle to Oz Hakeem, and that'll move the sticks. Here's Oz Hakeem. He starts in the left, then he comes in motion, then he starts up the field, and then he comes back in. He had Terrell Buckley was on him man to man, and he kind of got him turned around. But Oz Hakeem has that quickness. Again, he started in the left side, came all the way across the formation, the right side, then he comes up, and then he comes in. On first down, Warner has a lot of time, all kinds of time. Now he's chased. He gets away, throws it to Ernie Conwell. Conwell fights on his feet, fights down close to a first down, not quite. That was either a real good pass protection or a real, really lousy pass rush. Seems like that play took a minute. I know, but Kurt Warner, again, it is great pass protection. 
Look at him looking and looking and looking, and then he runs, and then he goes back the other way, gets out of a tackle. That's Game not very Kurt Warner type of guy. You see Ernie Conwell, he's just sitting there in the middle. He gave him that signal, put his arm up. If you need to throw it to someone short, here I am, Kurt. Second and one, the handoff is to Hodgins. One of the few times he carries the ball. Yeah, he'll he'll catch a few now and then. And as you say, you know, the, when you put when you put meat in there, old James Hodgins, 270 pounds, has a little trouble getting that old that old head <laughs> in that helmet. Yeah. But but he's the blocker and, and once in a while a receiver and very, very seldom a runner. First and ten. Rams at the Patriot. 31 yard line. Things are boating pretty well for the Patriots with those numbers, aren't they? Warner back again. Has time again. Throws to Falk. Falk is tripped up inside the 10 as he headed for the end zone. Marshall Falk is slow in getting up. And and watch Kurt Warner. They, they, these are the types of things that throws that he can make. And these are the kind of moves that Marshall Falk can make. But, but he throws it where you don't have to break stride. You know, Marshall Falk didn't have to come behind. He didn't have to go in front. He didn't have to do anything. That ball hit Marshall Falk right between the two and the eight. Watch it. That's perfect. You know, you're perfect where you can just you you, you have a step or two in the guy, and in catching the ball, you keep that step or two in the guy. Falk limped, but he's still in the game. First and goal, Rams. Here's Warner. Again, the protection's great. Pass complete to Jeff Robinson inside the five to the three. Okay, either this, either, again, this Ram offensive line is either really gearing it up for the pass protection or this Patriot defensive line can't get off the line anymore. Look at this and look at this pocket that they make for Kurt Warner. And he can wait up there and wait for, for Robinson to do something like that. On those last two passes, they gave Kurt Warner way, way, way too much time. Rams led the NFL with 66 red zone possessions in which they scored. Here's Warner firing in the end zone incomplete. He almost made that play with Lawyer Malloy. I know it. Yeah, he saw he saw that coming across it. He was he was going to go get it. Here's Lawyer Malloy right here. He's going to come out. Kurt Warner is looking to the right all the way. Lawyer Malloy gets a jump on it and knocks that thing down. Watch him get in there and stretch out. He almost caught it. There was no way that Oz Hakeem was going to get it. Kurt Warner saying that Oz Hakeem or someone was held. Falk is the deep back. Warner lofts it. Incomplete, almost intercepted by Ty Law. Do you settle for a field goal if you're the Rams? Down 17 to 3 at this point. Well, I look over there and I see that Mike Marks is not sending in the field goal team. That Rams ball, fourth and three, just outside the three. Fourth down. They trail 17 to three and no sign of the field goal team. They're you know, going to go for it. On Mike Marks's play call sheet, he has an area called, you know, must score and fourth down plays in the goal line. He's thought about this, he's visualized this, and he has the play that he wants for this situation. He hasn't used that sheet must score too much today. Or he's used it and hasn't worked. As Conwell in motion, here's Warner. He's going to try to scramble in. Lost the ball. The Patriots have it. They scoop it up. This could be the longest. This is to Bucky Jones, to Bucky Jones, to the five, the flag on the play, I believe. He might have stepped out of bounds. No, no the flag is way back way on the five-yard line. Way yeah. back. Kurt Warner is going in, trying to score, fumbles it. The Bucky Jones picks it up and runs it all the way. The Rams are going back like the penalty is against the Patriots. The flag again was about the original line of scrimmage. 
See the official standing over the flag right now at the six yard line. The flag was thrown while the Rams still had the ball. You know, if that's holding, which he signaled against the Patriots, that's not only the Rams' ball back, but that's automatic yes. first down. Boy, Ooh. that's a killer, isn't it? Holding. Holding. Defense. 55. Half the distance to the goal. First down. Willie McGinn. Watch, here he is right here. He just grabs Marshall Falk and tackles him. And then he grabs him again for a takedown. But and he doesn't take him down. Right, but that's exactly where the flag was. Willie McGinnis. And if we're a play fake, you could have said that he thought he was running with the ball and trying to tackle him. He just grabbed him and mauled him there. What a turn of events. First and goal Rams after Tabucky Jones had picked up that fumble and taken it almost 100 yards. Well, isn't that something? I mean, yep. you, know, you know how things happen in a game and how how it can change. And you know, you talk about the offense versus the defense, defense versus the offense, the special teams. And all. Then how about a penalty? How about a penalty? On a a touchdown fumble return changes the whole complexion of the game. Now the Rams are in their in their jumbo package here. And they have all tight ends, fullbacks. Paul won't make it. He's hit right at the line of scrimmage by the Patriots. You know, I was watching the Rams practice the other day, and from this formation. They're throwing a lot of, uh, of, of play pass. I think they're setting it up here where where they run the ball in here and the and the and the Patriots are really selling out on run. Now I think what you can do in the next play here or even on this play had they had they faked the run right. and thrown a pass to one of those tight ends in there it would have been an easy touchdown. But now on this down the Patriots have just substituted five players. In fact, they only got Time ten out. guys in there. Timeout Patriots. And they only have one left now. I think the Patriots got caught a man short on defense, but I think five guys came out and only four went in. So now you couldn't run that play pass because Bill Belichick's not going to let you do what he showed you on first down, where the play pass and the throw would have been successful. Mm -hmm. He's not going to give you the same defense on second down. 17 3, 9 33 left to play in the contest. The Patriots lead it. The Patriots really would have let it had Willie McGinnis not had that holding penalty. Second. Touchdown Rams. Kurt Warner. They waited. Call timeout. And they got it. 17 9. Yep, and watch Kurt Warner. It's just a quarterback sneak. That could even be one of those goose plays. You see, the tackles are both outside, and he just gets right in behind his big center, Andy McCullum. See, both both tackles kind of took it outside, and there was no one over the center, so Kurt Warner could just take that quarterback sneak and just follow his center. Wilkins, extra point is good. 17 chance. They're firefighters, and right. we can salute the firefighters and the policemen of our country also. Patrick Pass bringing it out. He's about four yards deep in the end zone when he brought it out. Here's one of Joe Andrews's brothers there, and then the other two are sitting a little there, there, and there's there's an Andrewsy, and there's an Andrewsy, three Andrewsies. Be in circle, three Andrewsy firefighters, three Andrewsy heroes, and to me they're all they're all heroes. First and ten at the 25. Tom Brady, nine out of 16, the one touchdown to David Patton. They did a couple of first downs down. And the thing that Brady can't do is force anything here because you're still ahead. Don't let that what happened make you think you're behind. Mark Edwards caught the pass from Brady. Let's go down to Ron Pitts. Pat, right before that Rams touchdown, Lovey Smith, the Rams defensive coordinator, got the entire defense together. He said, listen, 
This is it. Fourth quarter. We're down three turnovers. We need to rip it, strip it, do whatever you can to get the ball back for our offense. Definitely a sense of urgency in full effect on the Rams sideline. Pat? Never heard it put quite like that. We're down three turnovers. Well, that's the thing that they usually get, and, yep. they, and they haven't gotten them today. Second and eight. Antoine Smith juggled it. Regained possession. And circle the right side for about five. You know, we showed Dro Joe Andrews and his brothers there, and, and, and Joe Andrews is doing a good job today. He and Damian yes. Woody in the middle, and Mike Compton, and, you know, that whole offensive line is doing a pretty good job of, of, of both protecting for Tom Brady and blocking for Antoine Smith. Matt, excuse me, Matt Light went out. This place was taken by Grant Williams, and he's done a good job. Yeah, they've, they've kind of controlled this line of scrimmage pretty much. This is the one where, again, Damian Woody goes to left guard, and the left guard, Mike Compton, becomes a snapper. Brady fires incomplete, and they'll have to punt. The pressure was coming around from Wistrom. Brady did get rid of the ball though. Here we're going to see Leonard Little. Little. He's coming from this left side. Wiskram came from the right side yep. and they both met at blue 12. You go to blue 12. I'll go to blue 12 and we'll meet there. Dre Bly deep. Standing back about his 23 yard line. Good snap. And a good good kick. Chases him all the way back to the 15, but Bray Bly trying to turn something into something big gets it back to only about the 24. Flag on the play. I was saying earlier that historically there's not a lot of penalties in the Super Bowl, but they're there does seem to be an average amount. I wouldn't say an inordinate amount. Well, we've seen more, certainly. What's that word, inordinate? Yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, not an inordinate amount, but there's just an average amount. Yeah. Holding Against 57 the Rams. of the return team during the kick will assess the penalty from the change of possession half the distance to the goal. First down. It was right there, and he was holding Larry Izzo. The Rams need a 93 yard drive here to tie this game. The Patriots have to stop him down here or get another turnover. There has never been a Super Bowl that went into overtime. Warner, 21 out of 34, 256 yards, two big interceptions. And then this this is a big area here. I mean, if the, if the Patriot defense can hold up here and stop them, then they're going to get good field position. Of course, if they get a turnover, that would be really big. Now for the Rams, they have to think. You don't think of 93 yards. You start thinking just get first down. Ball shifts behind Warner. And Kurt Warner throws. And complete. Corey Holt with Otis Smith, the defender. They must think that they can get something out there when Otis Smith is up in tight coverage. You see how tight Otis Smith is? They must think that because he turns his head or something, that they can just throw the ball right over his hat. And they've tried that three or four times, and I think the most success they've had on it was a pass interference. And he's also 36 years old. They must figure he can't run. Yeah, but they're not taking deep though. I mean, they're only they're only throwing it about four or five or six yards when he's up there in that press coverage. Second and ten. Bruce in motion. Here's Warner back to throw. Has time and lots of it. And the pass is caught by Holt. Gets out of bounds and stops the clock with 7:34 left. And Roman Pfeiffer was right there to make the tackle. Roman. Pfeiffer's been in this league for 11 years and played all with all those years with the Rams when they were a bad team. He leaves and they get to be a good team. Watch Kurt Warner, Pat, how he moves the ball as he goes back, and that's all about a grip. He's moving it and rotating it to get the proper grip on it before he throws it. He's only got one finger on the laces. That's the little finger. 
The index fingers over the point of the ball. And that right thumb is still bothering him. Third and three, and Warner started to leave, and he does complete the pass, and out of bounds goes Isaac Bruce. And if he, they mark it where he went out of bounds, which they won't, he got the first down. As you said, Kurt Warner, just before he threw that, he, he looked like he was going to run, didn't he? He yeah. looked like he was going to run to the right. Isaac Bruce comes over here in motion, comes all the way, and then goes all the way back. Ty Law is on a man to man. Law came all the way across with him in motion, and then he started back crossing the way he just came. First down. Warner back. Pump. Chase. Gets away from the pressure. He is really hit. Kurt Warner took a shot. Helmet came loose, but he is tough, some tough guy. And I think a lot of other stuff came loose on that one. That was oh, Willie boy. McGinnis, and that was the thing where it was it was no pass rush. It was good pass protection, but it was good coverage because he had no one to throw to. And then he had to wait and wait and wait for someone to get open. And while he was waiting, Willie McGinnis got in that position to put that thing on his helmet. He got rocked and then sandwiched. Uh, but see, he had time. I mean, he had yes, he, he had all the time in the world, but there was no one open. Patriots. Here comes a safety blitz. Warner throws, has a man open. It's Ricky Pro close to midfield. These guys are something. Uh, they you know, are. And, you know, what do you do against Kurt Warner? You know, are you going to blitz him? Here's, here's Ricky Prohl right here. Here's the blitz. He knows that, that someone left that area. And we talk about guys that can run pass patterns and run full speed on their breaks. Ricky Prohl, Prohl also did that. He knows how to get open. Yep, and he got open against Ty Law, too. Mm -hmm. That wasn't some backup safety or something. First and ten. Kurt Warner has been hit 11 times. Looking, looking. Gets it outside. To Robinson, who gets out of bounds at the Patriot 40, another Ram first down. You, know, and you have to remember that this thing started on the seven yard line. I said they had to go 93 yards to tie the game, and, and they're in that mode right now. And again, it's all about pass protection because Kurt Warner is getting way too much time. And then he's able to come off to you know, you know someone short like he does to Robinson here, but but his wide receivers aren't getting open. There's nothing there for him to throw to, and he has plenty of time. He's about Robinson was about the fifth option. A handoff is the fault, and there's nothing there. Well, they were they were going to hit that one. Mike Mike Vrabel read that one. And he said you aren't going anywhere. I was talking about being out here early about three hours before the game Mike Vrabel comes out and of all guys he comes out with Drew Bledsoe and Drew Bledsoe throws passes to Mike Vrabel and he runs pass patterns. And there is Drew Bledsoe getting loose. Drew Bledsoe told me he had a vision that he was going to play in this game and the Patriots were going to win. Of course Brady is loosening up also. Again, Warner has time, time. He's chased. Now he's down by McGinnis. Willie McGinnis. Warner looking and searching for somebody to throw to. Couldn't find anybody, and finally McGinnis got there. And that's why you like the Willie McGinnis, the speed of it. You know, you look downfield, and this is what he sees, and you can see that all his receivers are plastered. He had something maybe here. But again, you not only have to have it open, but you have to see it open. And the good thing about a Willie McGinnis is he can run. You know, and, and if you start to run and you're going to move, you're going to move in the pocket, Willie McGinnis can run and catch it. You see here he's blocked. But watch right here when he takes off the speed that he has to make that play. Big third and 25. And New England takes their last timeout, so there are no timeouts left. In this game, unless we go to overtime, four minutes, one second. When was that, Bob? Warner's finger was jammed. You saw him flinch when the ball hit it. 
And he has walked away. Here it is, fourth down. Third and 25, beg your pardon. Flag on the play. Somebody move. A conference. We're getting close to inordinate. <laughs> Neutral yeah. zone infraction, 93 defense. Five yard penalty, still third down. Richard Seymour. Richard Seymour has been been very active. I mean, he's a he's a rookie number one draft choice. You see what Kurt Warner's done here today. The Super Bowl fact: the quarterbacks have thrown for 300 yard passing yards in a game 12 times. Don't think too many of those were in a losing cause, however. Here's Warner with all kinds of time again and throwing incomplete. And no flags this time. Torrey Hope was the intended receiver. And the Rams offensive unit stays on the field. Yep, and again, it's been about the pass coverage. I think I think they're gonna punt here, Pat. I think that you know with four minutes you want to put him down and then get a full set of down. You're right. Here comes Baker. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to take take one more shot and then let the Patriots have this field position here. I think you punt and then you rely on your defense. Troy Brown back deep. This is a high, good kick by Baker. Troy just going to watch it sail into the end zone, and the Patriots will take over at the 20. 3:44 left. The Patriots up by a touchdown. Highlights of the first half of turnovers. There's a big interception that put the Patriots ahead. At that time, the Rams led it 3 nothing. That made it 7-3. And here's the touchdown pass from Brady to Patton. That put them up 14-3. Warner. Fumble. But there was a holding call, a violation against the Patriots. So the Rams got four more chances. And Warner scampered in. Antoine Smith. Yeah, I think what the Rams did by punting is they, as I said, we know that they don't have any timeouts left, but but there's plenty of time. I mean, they're going to get a timeout if they can stop them. They get a timeout, a change of possession. You know, you get a timeout at the two-minute warning. So even though they don't have any timeouts, there's still a couple of there, but they can't allow the Patriots to get a first down. And the clock runs with 315. Second and 11, Antoine Smith lost a yard. Brady points. Smith's the deep back. And Brady's going to throw it. Throws it to Smith, who's hit immediately. Got just a few yards. London Fletcher brought him down. And there's that swarming Ram defense back. There, there's no timeouts again. This is this is you see that the Ram defensive line how they stunt, and now when you throw those checkdowns, and then Fletcher, who's getting back, will let you catch stuff in front of them, but then they're all going to collapse on it right there, both Davis and Fletcher. Third and long. This is a big play in this game. It certainly is. They need eight for a first. Brady's up under center. Brown goes in motion. The pitch is back to Antoine, Antoine Smith. He won't get that first down, and the Patriots will have to punt. They'll get a timeout here at the two-minute warning, and then after the punt, they'll get another timeout at the change of possession. There has never been a punt return for a touchdown in the Super Bowl. Back deep is Trey Bly for the Rams. End over end, tough to handle kick. Makes a ram bounce, but there's a flag on the play. Boy, and that flag was almost launched, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> he came flying about 30 yards across the field. What he has is a hole. He hasn't pointed in any direction yet. But he's very, very positive about it. And his eyes are very big. Yep. So he must have a good one. Only a 30-yard punt. Wasn't his best, certainly. 
Bernie Kukar. It's holding against the Patriots. Holding 34 of the kicking team. That penalty is declined. First down, St. Louis. Penalty declined. And so the Rams will take it over in pretty good shape. It was called against Tabucky Jones. First and ten for the Rams at their own 45. And this Patriot defense has been doing it all day. They haven't been getting the pass rush lately. Kurt Warner, I was just watching him on the sideline, and, and that thumb is really bothering him. He was flexing it, stretching it. And, and when it bothers him, he can't throw deep because it affects his grip. Three-man rush. Warner. Draws Hakeem, who's down the sideline. Picks up about 10 extra. To the 37. Good move by Oz Hakeem. You know, they, you, you get to that sideline, a lot of times they expect that you're just going to go out of bounds. And if you stay in bounds, you can always make bigger plays. But you fake them the outside. You don't step out of bounds, come right down that line. Here's what I was talking about, Pat, here with, with Kurt Warner. You can see that that thumb, that he's trying to stretch it out, that he got it popped a couple times today. Yo, Murphy just checked in to the Ram offense. That's he deep. And they drop it out to Yo Murphy. And they get another first down. I think they planned that all the way. That Yo Murphy was a guy, as you said, they bring him in and they put him in the backfield right there. They come on a blitz and they just dump it out. Yo Murphy, a wide receiver, line him up in the backfield and throw him on a loop. You see they have Marshall Falk is there. He's the first guy. And then they put Yo Murphy on the outside of Marshall Falk. Swing Marshall Falk up and Yo Murphy outside. First and ten for the Rams at the New England 26. A minute 37 left. Warner lost it. And Ricky Pro is going to score. Ricky Pro has come up with some big ones, none bigger than that one. From 26 yards out from Kurt Warner. Yeah, how about Kurt Warner's big ones that he's come up with? Maybe none bigger than that. Here's Ricky Prohl right there. You see it, it's a little pick. Start inside, yep. Ricky Prohl goes to the outside, makes a move there at Bucky Jones, and takes it back to the inside. Watch, watch this move he makes on Bucky Jones right there. See, he stops. Cuts, Jones reaches out, Ricky Pro runs right through it and dives into the end zone. Wilkins for the extra point. This is what Super Bowl is supposed to and be. It's, it's tied at 17. The Rams come roaring back. You can see Kurt Warner here. Again, I think he is having a, a, a tough time gripping the ball. But when he gets a wide open guy like Ricky Pro is so wide open there, he is not going to miss him. Remember that catch of it against Tampa Bay in the NFC Championship game a couple of years ago. Which one is bigger? That one he just made or that one against Tampa Bay? Are you going to see it right out here? You see? See, the two guys go with the inside receiver, and no one goes with Ricky Pro. You see that inside? So, so there's Ricky Paul free. They had two guys go with one guy, and, and no one goes with one guy. And that guy knows how to get open and get in the end zone. You know, the funny thing about that drive is Marshall Falk, Isaac Bruce, or Torrey Hall didn't touch the ball on that drive. And the guys you'd think, well, those are the guys they're going to go to. They didn't go to those guys. A minute and a half. The Patriots have no timeouts left. Wilkins kicks it off. Roy Brown. Shakes one tackle. Gets a good block. But the Ram coverage is good. Look at this, Ricky Prohl and that play that he made. He's a fourth wide receiver, and 
Remember when Dick Vermeil was coach of the Rams, he said he's one of our most valuable players. He's not a starter. He's not the third wide receiver. He's the fourth, but he lets us do a lot of things. He's a guy we got to find a place for. And Mike Martz said the same thing. And now with no timeouts, I think that the I think that the Patriots with this field position, you have to just run the clock out. You have to play for overtime now. I don't think you want to force anything here. You don't want to do anything stupid because you have no timeouts and you're backed up. Brady's in the shotgun and he's going to throw it. Nothing stupid. He gets it up. The J.R. Redmond has complete. Gets out to the 21. Now I would, you know, I don't, I don't agree with what the Patriots are doing right here. I would, I would, I, I, I would play for overtime. If I had good field position, I wouldn't. But in this field position, I would play for overtime. Now, just a minute. They have no timeouts left. Brady again throws. That's the Redmond again. That'll move the sticks, but that doesn't stop the clock. Well, Tom the Brady, NFL. he wants to get him lined up so he can just throw the ball down and stop the clock as he did right there. This guy, seconds left. This guy is really cool, though. I mean, I, I've been impressed watching Tom Brady on film and you know, in television games and so on. But the way he's playing this game today, he has been very, very impressive with his calmness. Then a Terry. Loosening on the sideline. Now they need they need about 20. They need about 40 more yards before they're going to be in field goal range. There's Brady. Not much pressure. Throws out to Redmond again. Redmond gets the first down. I think yeah, more importantly, the clock. Yeah, more the importantly clock. than getting the first down is that he got out of bounds and stopped the clock and and now I kind of like what the Patriots are doing. Um, have some well unpleasant memories in some ways and some pleasant in that other overtime game back in 1958 because I was playing. Well, the Rams are getting a little too loose, I think, with their defense. When they had them backed up, you think they would have pressured them a little more. Here they, Here, come. They come. Here they come. And Brady throws. Incomplete. He just got rid of it. Pressured by Tommy Polly. You're going to see here that they're going to they're going to overload this side and they're coming from the blitz right here. They have two free rushers and Tom Brady better get rid of that ball. Wouldn't happen since that fumble return was, was called back due to a penalty. 10 on 9 in the fourth, and the Rams have outscored. To say that penalty was large, and it's been 14 nothing for the Rams That's since right. that point. That's right. Here's Brady again. Up the middle, caught, and it's Troy Brown, and he gets out of bounds, and they might be in Vinatieri's range with 21 seconds left. This this is amazing. This is, is something and, and I'll admit that as a as a coach and as an analyst I don't think they should have done but they had the guts they have a young quarterback and they did it. They were backed up. They were inside their own 20. They had no timeouts left and they're calling these plays and and not only calling these plays but making these plays. At some point when you're in the Super Bowl you have to let it all hang out and I'll say this Charlie Weiss. And this and this block and this Patriot team, they are letting it all hang out. Right now it would be a 53 yarder. Here comes the blitz, and here's Brady. He dumps it to Wiggins down to the 30, and now no question about it, they are in range, but they gotta hurry. Maybe he can spike it right here and that's, stop the that's clock. That's what he'll do, he'll spike it here. Seven seconds. They got Vinatieri in range. I'll tell you what Tom Brady just did gives me goosebumps. He has certainly got plenty of distance. I was watching him before the game and he was. Well, he pulled that one in pregame, but most of them he hit in pregame, and he doesn't miss many. This would be from 48 yards out. And this this has been a year about Vinatieri and, and making some great kicks against the Raiders. Two of the greatest kicks that I've ever seen in my life. 
Here comes one of greater importance if he makes it. And it's right down the pipe. Adam Vinatieri. No time on the clock, and the Patriots have won Super Bowl 36. Unbelievable. That's the way you should win a Super Bowl.